Um, welcome to another tutorial. This is the fifth. Um, this is going to be another long tutorial, so it'll be in two parts or more, probably more than two parts. Um, so, yeah. And also, it'll be a lot more complicated than the other ones we've been through. So, um, just be prepared for that because um, it will be a bit more tricky and you're going to want to have a bit of knowledge. So, if you haven't already seen all my other tutorials, um, then I would recommend it, especially if you've never used Scratch before because um, I cover a lot of key things that I'll be covering in this video in my other videos um, and you might not understand something because you hadn't seen my other video okay um, let's, I'll just quickly show you what we are making okay so this is a game it's called Super Racer um, and as you can see, we have a menu screen, which we haven't done before. We have up here, score, isn't used yet. Um, we have the title, um, which has an animation going on. And we have two buttons here, play and info. If I just quickly um, click on info, um, you can see that it says, use the mouse to steer the car and try not to crash. Press space to stop this message. And sure enough, if we press space, it goes away. And we can click it again for a space. So if we want to bring it up again, we can just click it. Okay, and if we click on play, we're taken to this, which is the game. And there are cars coming at you, you've got to steer away from them. Um, and you get a score um, up here, the counter's being used. And if you touch another car, um, it, the game ends, and you can see your score. And if you touch the grass, the game also ends. And this is kind of like an old arcade game. That's what it would remind you of. Essentially, it's a lot like um, the second tutorial where I made Keep Away. It's a bit more advanced and it's a bit different, obviously. But in essence, it's one of those types of games. Okay, so now we're going to make this. As I said, this is going to take a long time. It's not going to be very quick. So, um, yeah. Just be ready for that. Okay, first thing, we're getting rid of the scratch cat. Click on the scissors and delete him. Now we are going to want to go into paint new sprite and we're going to make a button. Not a button, we're going to make the title that you saw up there. So we're going to click onto the rectangle tool, click the empty rectangle, and we are going to just make a rectangle shape here around that size. We're going to use the fill tool, and it doesn't have to be blue, but I like the color blue um, for these buttons. So I'm just going to um, click blue, and I'm going to fill it in blue, and use the text tool. Drag it over here, and type in super racer, and click OK. So you can see that's our title. Let's make a quick first script for it. Um, so go to X and we want the um, Y to be 100 and just leave the X 0 be up here okay so now we're going to animate it go into control and we're going to use repeat until okay as I think I've explained before in scratch scripts are a bit like a chain reaction so um, it, it keeps going down until it reaches the end and then it stops um, unless there is a forever script, um, where in which case it just loops back to the start of the forever script. Now this is kind of like a hybrid of a forever script and an if script, because um, when you get one of these, all of the blocks inside it keep repeating until this has been satisfied, so whatever's in there. Um, so if that said um, score equals 500, then it would keep looping over until score equals 500 and then it would move on um, and that's how it would work so in here is going to go well first we need to make a new variable and we're going to call this game started now you may not understand right now but it'll be clear soon what this does so we're going to uncheck this box here because we don't want um, the user to see it because this isn't a display 
variable. This is um, a behind the scenes variable. Okay, so now we're going to click into operators and go and get the equal sign. And we are going to drag game started into it and then put here one. Again, you won't understand this yet, but I will explain it in time, so be patient. Um, okay, now we're going to go into motion and we're going to animate it. So we're going to go change Y by 10, then we're going to right click on it and click duplicate and we get two of it. And we're going to um, keep one of them 10 and make the other one minus 10. Okay, so now we're going to put them in. First we put in change Y by 10, then we're going to go into control and drag out a weight block, duplicate that as well, and make them both 0.1. Okay, so put um, one of the point ones on there, then drag in the change y by minus 10, then put in a point one again. So, um, as you can see, this is going to animate it. So, if I click it, this is what you see it's the going up and down. Um, and also, in variables, we are going to put in a set game started to zero up here. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our next um, sprite. So we're going to paint it again because it's going to be the play button. We're going to do the same thing with making the button, going to rectangle, going to the hollow rectangle, make a little button about this size. Uh, you make it any colour you want, like I said. Go into the text tool, and we are going to make this one read play. Okay, so the script for this one is going to start as um, go to x0, y0. Um, and then we are going to do something new. We are going to pull out our wait until block. Now, um, the wait until block is kind of like um, a blockade because when the scripts are um, happening like a chain reaction, when it comes to this one, it stops all of it and um, waits until the thing in here has been satisfied. So it's kind of like it stops the whole thing until that's been satisfied and then it continues. So like I said, you can kind of think of it as like a blockade. Okay, so um, we are now also going to be introduced to a new block in operators, which is the AND script, um, the AND block. And basically, um, as you know, with a normal value that needs to be satisfied, there is one thing. So, for example, um, if key space pressed, so um, it would wait until space has been pressed. But with this, two things have to be satisfied. Um, I'll explain a bit more. So we're going to put in touching mouse pointer. We're also going to put in mouse down. So, imagine touching mouse pointer is the only thing in there. If I put my mouse over um, this sprite, it would be touching the mouse pointer. And so this would be satisfied so it can move on. But if we've got an AND script and there's mouse down in the other one, then um, it has to be both at the same time touching the mouse pointer and mouse down. So it can't be mouse down but not touching mouse pointer, so you're clicking over here, or just you have it, your mouse over it and but you're not clicking. So that's so they both have to be happening at the same time, if that makes sense.